Door businesses are making adjustments because of the anticipated weather. Channel 3's Laura Hussey takes us to an equestrian center where they've canceled their classes and they put some extra effort into protecting the horses. There are 27 horses here at the Fort Walton Beach Equestrian Center. When the staff saw the forecast, they knew they had a lot of work to do. The horses here are more protected than their cousins in open pasture. They have stalls, and the trainers say first priority is warm, clean bedding. Number one other thing is we make sure that the blankets are on them and they're nice and secure. Blankets will be checked carefully to make sure they stay on through the cold night. Marissa Brown says horses that live outside grow thicker, warmer coats, but those that wear blankets regularly need them now. If you were to take um, any of our other horses like Phoenix here and take her blanket off and leave her without a blanket for a night, she could freeze. Protecting the horse's water supply is important too. Lines are checked and trainers will break ice if it forms in the water buckets. Horses themselves, you know, they need water. They drink about 20, 30 gallons a day. Yeah, they drink a lot. And they'll keep feeding them too. A horse's body temperature goes up when it's digesting food. A lot of people um, will give their horse extra hay on a really, really cold night to keep them eating and keep their body temperature raised that way. The center will lose some income the next couple of days. Lessons were canceled to protect both horses and riders from cold and injuries. Complicating the situation, the owner tells me there's a hay shortage this year, so to keep the horses going in the cold, they're having to use more of a more expensive commodity. In Fort Walton Beach, Laura Hussey, Channel 3 News. And